happy to see all of you. Hi, Josiah. Hi, Kai. Hi, Aria. I see you over there. Hi, Liam. Hi, Noah. Hi, Pila. Oh, and Mia. Hi. Oh, I'm so excited to see all of you. How has your week been? Did you guys have fun this week? Oh, the weather has been strange this week. Hey, there was rain and it was cloudy and it was windy and then the sun was shining. Oh, Cape Town's weather is so, so strange. Did you guys have fun at school and at home this week? Wow, well, we had lots of fun this week and I had lots of fun thinking about Zacchaeus that we learned about last week. Hope is going to talk to us a little bit more about Zacchaeus today, but before we get to that, we are going to play a game. Okay, so our game for today is musical statues. Do you guys remember how that works? While the music is playing, you need to dance and you're going to move and dance and I want to see your best dance moves and then when the music stops, then you need to stop. You need to pause in whatever position you are in. So if you're dancing and the music stops and you must stop, just freeze. Don't move anything. Don't even move your eyes. You can breathe. You can breathe. You should definitely breathe. But don't keep dancing. And then when the music starts again, then you keep dancing. Okay, so we're going to do that. And we're going to see who is the best at using their ears to freeze when the music stops. Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. Well done. Okay, we're going to do one last time. Remember, this is a fun game that you can play at home even when we don't do J-Tots. But let's do last time for J-Tots today. Let's go. I love that game. Liam and I love dancing together. Do you guys enjoy it as well? All right, now we are going to use our voices, our voices in our throat and our mouth, because we are going to worship Jesus together. All right, so at the moment, we're not doing other videos for worship. We are just singing together. There are two songs about how Jesus loves us. Do you guys remember? First, we're going to do the new song that I taught you guys last week. I'm going to sing it a little bit slower so that we can all do the actions together. Are you guys ready? All right. Jesus loves you and me. I'm as happy as can be. Up, down, all around. Jesus loves us all. Young and old and big and small. Let's sing that again. Jesus loves you and me. I'm as happy as can be. Up, down, all around. Jesus loves us all. Young and old and big and small. All right, let's try it again, but we're going to do it faster. <gasps> Are you guys ready to try it faster? Jesus loves you and me. I'm as happy as can be. Up, down, all around. Jesus loves us all. Young and old and big and small. Yay! Jesus loves all of us. All right, now let's sing Jesus loves me. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Let 
So once to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All right, we're going to sing it one more time. What I would love is if you guys could record yourself singing Jesus Loves Me and send it to me. And then next week we can hear you guys singing Jesus Loves Me. Okay, but let's sing it one last time because I think it's super important for us to remember that Jesus loves us. That's the best news ever. Okay, let's sing it one more time. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong, they are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, yes, Jesus loves me, the Bible tells me so. All right, now I am really excited because today, Hope is going to tell us a little bit more about Zacchaeus' story and what it means for us today. What can we understand from Zacchaeus' story in our lives now? Okay, Hope, we'd love to hear from you. Hi, guys. It's so good to be back with you guys today. My name is Hope, and I serve on the Sparks and Little Sparks team at the Jubilee Ops congregation. But it's so good to be back with you guys online today. Do you guys remember last week's story? Carissa told us all about a guy with a very interesting name. Can you remember his name? Can you? Yes, his name was Zacchaeus. Can you guys remember what happened in the story? Why did Zacchaeus end up in a tree? Do you guys remember that Zacchaeus was a tax collector and nobody liked him because Zacchaeus wasn't very nice. Zacchaeus took everyone's money and he made them very angry. Can you show me your angry face? Oh my goodness, you guys are scaring me. Those are some very angry faces. Then one day, Zacchaeus heard that Jesus was coming to town and he got so excited. Can you show me your excited faces? Woohoo! Nice, those are some very excited faces. So Zacchaeus, all excited, went to see where Jesus was, where everyone wanted to see Jesus, he went to where they were all gathered. But then he was super frustrated. Can you show me your frustrated face? Uh, why is this not working? Uh, let me see your frustrated faces. Oh, those are very frustrated faces. Do you know why he was frustrated? Yeah, he was frustrated because he was too short. He couldn't see Jesus. But Zacchaeus had a great idea. Zacchaeus decided he was going to climb a tree so that he was tall enough to see Jesus. And that is why Zacchaeus was in the tree. His plan had worked and he could see Jesus. But then, all of a sudden, Jesus was in front of his tree. Jesus had seen Zacchaeus. Jesus started speaking to Zacchaeus and Zacchaeus was shocked. Oh my word, let me see your shocked faces. Oh wow, those are some very shocked faces. Jesus told Zacchaeus to come down the tree so that he can go and eat with him at Zacchaeus' house. When they were at Zacchaeus' house, Jesus told Zacchaeus all about God's love. And that really changed Zacchaeus' heart. His heart was so changed that he decided to go and give back all the money that he had stolen. His life was completely changed. Okay, so I need your guys' help to understand the story. So, when Zacchaeus was stealing the people's money and taking it away from them, did that make Jesus happy? 
or did that make Jesus sad? What do you guys think? Happy or sad? <gasps> yeah, you're right. When Zacchaeus stole the people's money, that made Jesus really sad. But do you think that when Zacchaeus was stealing the people's money, did Jesus not love him anymore? Did he decide, oh, I don't love Zacchaeus? Or did he still love Zacchaeus? Yeah, Jesus still loved Zacchaeus even though he was stealing the people's money. Okay, let's do another one. Zacchaeus gave all the people their money back. Did that make Jesus sad? Or did that make Jesus happy? Yes, it made Jesus happy when he saw that Zacchaeus' heart was changed and he was treating the people right, it made Jesus really happy. And did Jesus love him more for giving the people's money back? No, he loved him just the same. Let's do another example that you guys might understand. Maybe you see your friend is not sharing their lunch with somebody who is really hungry. Does that make Jesus happy? Or does that make Jesus sad? Yeah, that makes Jesus sad. He asks us to share with people, to look out for each other and be kind. Does Jesus love us less if we don't be kind? Or does he still love us? Yes, Jesus still loves us even if we are unkind, but it does make Jesus sad. Okay, let's do one more. If your mom comes back from the shops with lots of bags of shopping and you help her, does that make Jesus sad? Or does that make Jesus happy? <gasps> yes, that makes Jesus happy. He loves to see us helping one another. And does Jesus love you more if you help others? No, he always loves you. He loves you no matter what. All along, Jesus always loves you. So we have a memory verse that we would love you guys to learn. And we would love to see you guys saying the memory verse. And you can send it to the Jubilee Kids number. And we would love to see them. It is from John 15 verse 21. And it says, Love each other as I have loved you. Should we do that again? Love each other as I loved you. Good job, guys. Do you remember where that came from? Yes, John 15, verse 21. And it says, Love each other as I loved you. Good job, guys. That's amazing. And what an awesome reminder that God loved us so that we can love others. And Jesus loves us no matter what. And that is super good news. It's been so good to be with you guys this morning. I hope you enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a good week. Bye.